It's an evening news break with Country Crazy. Ohio says Biden has sparked the historic economic boom as stock market plunges into bear market amid record inflation, high gas prices, recession of fears. They claim that Americans are well positioned to face these challenges thanks to the president. Press Secretary Karen Jean Pierre argued President Biden actually made historic economic gains, which would help the American people go through these economic challenges. He blames it that inflation of 8.6% higher than a year earlier is the greatest increase since 1981. She blames it on the COVID pandemic and on Russian President Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine. How would this price inflation come in? Out everywhere, one in a generation. Well, pandemic, all of those things play a factor, Ms. Pierre says. Well, market summary here. Just go ahead, take a look at it. You know, it was 151.23, now it's 876. Wait. We're doing good, y'all. Voters, however, are not seeming to buy into the White House's argument. Consistently give Biden low marks for his handling the economy. They continuously say that this is Putin's price hike. It's Putin's inflation. Putin's gas prices. Elsa showed the struggle with the problems at hand. So get this. Federal Reserve may surprise buyers with a larger than expected 0.75 percentage point interest rate. They're meeting this week to combat record inflation. Meanwhile, on Saturday, for the first time ever, a gallon of regular gas cost $5. Nationwide! And show that Republicans are favored to take the House. This will stein Biden's agenda. In places, it's six ninety nine dollars for regular gas. Inflation is at 8.6%. Look at this. I know how to read a graph. Do you know how to read a graph? White House, do you know how to read a graph? But American people are set up to be able to handle this? I'm speechless. I'm speechless, so let's move on to the next one. Ta-da! Here we have Paul Pelosi's mugshot. Oakville, California on May 28th after he blew through a stop sign in 2021 Porsche and he hit a G. Pelosi had a blood alcohol content of 0.08% to appear in court over this incident. It was Paul Pelosi who hit Jesus V. Lopez. Here's where the incident occurred and it stayed this way for days later. The DA says that the case is currently under review to decide what, if any, charges will be filed against Mr. Pelosi. This is Jesus Lopez, 48. Although neither men were hurt, if it was me or anyone else, we'd be locked up, we'd bond out, and we would have charges. There wouldn't be a possibility. 